or or, or, or the um, you know uh, medical misinformation. Definitely don't say that. Yeah. Um. No, no mention of bodily fluids and where they might be on your car's upholstery. So is that all playing correctly? Is it? <laughs> I see it. Uh, I'll tell you what I haven't done. I haven't set up fucking... I already did my bit. Not by the music. I need to turn that down a bit. Please. I, I don't really want to hear Kate Mongrew's 40 a day voice. <laughs> Ah, I'm mad in Colombo. That child, he's dead now. The one on the left, he's in prison. She's a whore. Yeah, so sad what happened to them. Just, just one more thing, bitch. <laughs> I, just, just one more thing. I'm going to violate the space time directive <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah, but you're not supposed to do that. Do you reckon I should turn that down? Is that a too loud for me? Can anybody hear it? I can hear it. It's I loud enough. I think we've caught everybody on the hot. I think everybody's going to love this. Being it. Yeah, it's. Uh... Hey, what is me... Fraser? Is it just you and me watching it then? Oh, it's Fraser Gunn no, here. Hello. Well, yeah, I'm in here. No, Fraser's in. I'm here. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Can you... I only you see me myself and Hemi. I, I don't see. Um... Yeah, it's just two of us in the watch together. Oh, is oh. it? Oh, Fraser, you haven't joined the watch together. Dickhead. <laughs> Yeah, where's this? I've done something even worse. I haven't even. I've even set up the stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about. We're not live on, R on Rumble at the minute. It's good job this music shit, isn't it? Where am I joining? How long is this together? theme? Is it oh, like five fine. minutes long, this intro? Yeah. Oh where am God. I joining? What am I joining? Watch together. There's a watch together link in the Telegram. Oh. I haven't set it. Rumble hasn't started yet because I've been espousing them too early. Well, that's okay because it turns out the intro to Madame Columbo is like 50 minutes bloody long. Okay, this is I, I'm already bored with this, Hemi. Jeez, yeah. Hey, does Columbo know you were doing that, intros. bitch? Ah, I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> I'd buy Janeway for a dollar. Mm -hmm. yeah, she doesn't look too bad there, like 40 million don't, years Don't forget, ago. she was only about 40 at the time. I hate her, I don't. Most men... 40. ...despise <laughs> a wife for becoming what Joanne has become, but I don't. God, it's just I can't live just like this. Stuff, like but that. I don't want to hurt her, Martin. I just can't go on living yes, alive. Yes, that's right. Just You're wearing a, a, a winter coat in the middle of summer. Okay. Yeah. When you open them, poof, she's vanished. The trouble is, she loves me too much. Deeply, I mean obsessively. So. If I divorce her, she will fall to pieces and I will lose everything I've built that doesn't make oh, sense. Oh, fucking numbers being a cunt. We might not, we might not, we might not actually be going there. But I can't anymore. be cruel. It's not my way. Why? Because it's being a cunt. Well, as long as we don't have any magical misinformation, we can have it on <laughs> YouTube. Oh, fuck. I don't want to talk about it. Raging cunt. You are talking about it, Charles. You're a fine attorney. Yeah, Charles. You know what to say and when to say it. And what not to say. I've never been charged with crime Oh, actually, I'm just going to stop the stream. Be careful. I don't think anyone will notice. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Fuck it, we'll do it live. And I respect you for Do that, we need Charles. to listen to this bit? I think we need to listen the to this arrangement bit. We've made. Really? We'll agree about the time whenever you're ready. Don't worry, Charles. Trust me. Hey, look, he looks like a trustworthy man. When he tells you trust me... Well, like, someone like him says trust me. trust me, you know you can. Yeah.
There's this middle name, Trustworthy. Bonjour, madame. Anybody's... Howdy. What? What? This is being ah, done. Hello, Monsieur Gérard. Ah, ah. En français. Ah, bonjour, Monsieur Gérard. Très bien. Entrez, s'il vous plaît. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur. Mm -hmm. Ça va, madame? Her accent's actually ça quite good. Oh, so nice. Ah, Asseyez-vous ici, s'il vous plaît. Asseyez-vous sur la chaise. Sur What's la chaise. Sur la chaise. Oui, merci, monsieur. Sit yourself down on this chair. On this chair. <laughs> Is this the creepy couch uh, simulator? 1960s edition. Is there hair dyed in this? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it looks it. It does, actually. It looks dark. I think the natural hair colour sort of brownie blonde. Yeah. To study, right? Uh-huh. En français seulement, tout en français. Ah, étudier. Très bien. Ah, oui. Très bien. On va jouer encore une fois à Simon D. Simon D. Oh, Simon C. Simon C. Ah, bon, bon, très bien, monsieur. Simon D, ouvrez Which la fenêtre. Ouvrez la fenêtre. Très bien. Simon D, je voudrais une tasse de café. Café Oui. He Simon wants D, a glass at the press, so man. Mm -hmm. For some reason, like keeping tasks means oh, no. glass. It's not. Ah, maybe I got, it, got it up. Sorry. There was a bit of a snafu ah. with the... Voici de feu, monsieur. Excellent. Assez, vous, we're madame. We're going now. We, we're going... We're, we're, we're on all four. No, 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 no madame. Simon n'a pas oh, dit... Oh, baby. Monsieur Gérard. Right. I don't seem to remember, like, Detective Columbo spending all this time flirting with yeah. a French tutor. That's Odo. That, that dude, that's Odo. I have done my laundry and cleaned my house and written to oh. my husband. Yeah. Is that René Aubergenis? Yeah, that's oh, what yeah, he yeah. He would you speak French, Odo wouldn't he? Way. With, you know, being, um... <laughs> well, with a name like René Aubergenis, yeah. It is him, yeah, yeah. Well, what's boss? He pretends to be, uh, Miss Columbo in the banger. I think his best role was Mr. House in uh, Fallout New Vegas, though. I don't know, I think this is good, though. We got to the semi-semi quarterfinals, but we lost again. Star Picture had the mumps. I did oh the Hadassah. We went to the semi-semi quarterfinals, but lost again. She's even doing a Jane Wade shrug. It's just like Patton. Oh, I never thought of it. I think that's the Kate Mulgrew shrug. Do you like this kind of work? Very much. Why do you like it? I can do it. I'm good at it. Oh, she's good at it. I'm good at blowing bubbles in the bath. Mr. Alden. Once upon a time, I studied <coughs> journalism. Excuse me. I even worked at it. I got married. What a fucking great I'm couple, aren't they? Eh? Copper and a copper and a journalist. Mother, I worship my fucking husband brilliant. and I still want something people. left over for me. Mine, selfish, just a few hours a day, all mine, nobody else. It's a match made in matrimonial heaven. Just think now she'd work for Kotaku. Whatever happened to me? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I can tell you, they're in the wrong Wait. business. <laughs> Where well, failed game journey, uh, sorry, well, failed journalist go to write. Oh, I tried. <laughs> what about ambition? Person like you, failed I see all kinds of ambition. Right, you, you enjoy doing these little jobs at home. Oh, oh. Work for a real that's newspaper. offensive. Real prostitutes. Real newspapers come out every day. Yeah, prostitutes have some fucking integrity, don't they? Real newspapers. I refuse to use the term sex worker. No, hashtag no. No, no. they're prostitutes. I'm not. I'm not using this new speak term of sex work and fuck off with that. Sex work is real work, Hubbard. Well, if sex work is real work, then they can submit tax returns. Yes, exactly. Press time still Tuesday, three p.m. You still work at home. I pay no phone bills. Minimum of three dollars. Like, have you, no, have you noticed, like, she's live. supposed to be we'll Columbo's burgers, but wife, but she's more like his sister? PTA. The weekly advertiser isn't just advertising, you know? I wish to God it were. Maybe I'd but this is the wife of Columbo. <laughs> yeah. So far, all that I'm is seeing is feminism. <laughs> feminism. Feminism. <laughs> But, <laughs> I think it is. Like, I'm good at everything. I can do it all. I can be a housewife <laughs> and write The original Mary Sue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you, do you know where the origin of the term Mary Sue comes from? It's from Star Trek. Mary Sue. 
<laughs> yeah, it's, it's literally Ensign uh, Mary Sue, who's no, good at everything and well liked by everyone. Like Tiny Soprano. Hey, get off my fucking drive. Three. Is this thing working? I can hear you fine, Mrs. Colombo. Roger, Dodger, you darling man. Wait, why is she talking to a tape recorder? Columbo <laughs> <laughs> is this supposed to be some, like, Columbo likes to be passive aggressive messages on there. I'm the... worried about you. <laughs> There's poor folks. Is that is that dog is that dog in Colum is that dog in Colombo, is it? Oh, you are amazing. Uh, no, it's in Star Trek Enterprise. That dog has that dog has a bit of the bit of Paris about That dog has a bit of the Paris about it. Yeah. No, I don't know. But that's to get a piece of chocolate right. cake, lucky. Just another oh, thing, Mrs. Colombo. Right. Just another thing, you lazy bitch. You didn't clean my trousers. Hey, the you know, there is one thing missing from this. We need the silhouette outlines of Tom Servo and uh, the one that looks like the gumball machine in the background. There you go. It is Proto Paris. Just there. <laughs> oh, hey, you know, I really love 1950s Americana. 1950s, he's 1970s American. <laughs> Tom, Tom Paris is kind of like Nog, but instead of Linux distros, he's like, let me tell you about 1950s America. Is, is Kate Mulgrew one of those people that's, that's immortal like um, Putin? Uh, she's well preserved by nicotine. <laughs> At least she has a pity on now. Who's Charlie? Who's Joanne? Is it supposed to do that? Well, what it sounds like, Mrs. Colombo, is that somewhere in the neighborhood, there's another intercom, just like this one. When the cord is plugged into the power, and the machine is turned on, and you press this key, your voice goes through to your door. Let me way. tell you how basic electronics works, you dumb broad. <laughs> Did Paris have to do this on, on the voyage? The Anywhere. So you got Spare me the techno babble. The just can you get it done? So you get their voices along with <laughs> no. your lights and all that. He's doing the fucking course, Scotty bit. You you can he take the mark out? And just so oh yeah, I'll, I'll have a highball. Okay. Eight a.m. That's time for a highball, right? Uh, Spedwest said he he mansplaining, and uh, Alphabet Cat said it's like he communicator. <laughs> Oh, he's a wrong one. He always plays a wrong one, doesn't he? Charlie. Hello. Hello, I'm here to do a crime. He always looks so sad. He's a buxom wench, isn't Do she? I? Yeah. I'm sorry, honey. What for? You'll be sorry when I murder you. <laughs> You'll be sorry when you're dead, bitch. You are beautiful. <laughs> Not like I was. It's going to be a with a oh, candle stick, and, so candle stick, candle stick in the conservatory. <laughs> but first, let me finish my whiskey highball. We're going to be yeah. Well, say, well, uh, what much. about the two at the start? What happened to them? In my whole life, honey. Like beautiful. Uh, Sometimes, when you're so quiet, I'm afraid you're thinking about. You'd never get a, a boxing like this before. I've never thought like, look, before, so. the actress is on her knees looking up at the man. Yeah. Why, why yeah, are you exactly. down there, love? All you hear is a zip off screen. Well, I'll get down there, you bra. He's thinking about it. She's trying, she's trying to talk to him and he's like, oh, <laughs> fucking hell not. I can't shut up. <laughs> Oh, oh, the dishwasher's making that noise again. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I am wearing my new nighty and my new perfume and talking over my new phone. Dirty bitch. So that's everything you're missing. Yeah. You're in a sex line I got well. a new phone. I know, right? She did sex lines as well, isn't she? Oh, honey, tell me about London. She's wearing a do rag, too. She's part of the Bloods. <laughs> It's gonna start a gang war. Oh, she's still up. <laughs> no, she's in got her fucking prison mom. denims on as well. I am not Jenny. I am a She's part of the bloods as well. <laughs> <laughs> is that kid a hologram? Is, 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 is this a hologram episode of Voyager? So did your dog. 
This is just a holodeck episode, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You're right, it is, isn't it? <laughs> hey, let's use rotary phones and pretend we're in the 20th century. <laughs> hey, hey, look, I can afford a house with a simple income. <laughs> yeah. Is this one of those spooky ones where, like, the, the man they keep talking to appears and he's like a big, big scary monster that's going to eat the I, I don't know. Daddy. I love you. Do you I think you she's stuck in the holodeck for like, quite Dad, some time. Go, no. Just one more thing. Just one more thing. Dad, I've got to go. I've got to go. No, just one more thing. <laughs> Look, I'm not done talking to you yet, bro. Who is that actress? She looks familiar. What, is it, the, is it, is it... Yeah, I don't know. Let's keep going. Wait, they're in the same house and they're talking to each other on the phone? How does that work? No, they're talking to Columbo, aren't they? I think. Oh, I see. Well, apparently yeah. the second series, they just dropped the Columbo thing altogether. I was going to say, they, it's like, how long are they going to keep the pretense up? It, is it... Are you telling me this is a phrasal and occasionally, like, Maris rings up? Look at that, fucking bait. See her checking the iron, licking her finger and touching it. Bass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting that scene is more polite than uh, do the opposite, which would be to, uh, you know, uh, spit on it. School time. Touch my iron. Oh, no, yes. Boy, that's better than a soap opera. What is Life with Charlie and Joanne. Did you get your books again? Here, honey, hold this one. What the fuck? She's listening in on a night. What? She's dumping in her neighbor's yeah. house. Yeah. So yeah. You know, it's just a bit of uh, uh, covert surveillance on neighbours. It's not illegal. I mean, yeah, Nixon never got exactly in trouble for that. Intercom system, right? yeah. Yeah. You see, when the president does it, it's not illegal. <laughs> you see, when Jane Day, Jane Day does it, it's not illegal. Tonight. You have been found guilty of multiple violations of federal law. How do you Tonight. plead? Tonight. Uh, I'm Captain Janeway. I do whatever I like. Why is the storyline? I don't, I don't, what, what, why is he talking to this dude? Who well, knows know or who a, cares a more? Like. Yeah, like, is this guy going to bang his wife and he's going to watch or something? I don't know. What, what's going on? If only there was a way to figure out what happens in the, in the film. I know! Let's watch the rest of it for blues! <laughs> I think we missed too much of it. I think we probably missed the... the... the Look, there was an intro where was there was like a, a lollipop man instead of a lollipop lady flirting with her. What more do you need to know? That's all the exposition you're getting. She's in a fucking wait... She's in a waiting room with the fucking Yorkshire Ripper and she ain't thought... She ain't thought some detective she is, isn't she? And she's had like someone explain how to use a telephone to her because she's a broad and doesn't get it. Mrs. Colombo? Dr. Prince will see you now. Look, that's the fucking Yorkshire Ripper there with a black dog, look. Come on. <laughs> what, Arthur Scargill? She's in a minute, she's just letting him get Taking away notes? with it. Oh no, I just thought I'd do a piece for my paper. About a vet's waiting. Peter Ford's like now 30 Scargill. years yeah, older than Kate Mulgrew, dirty bastard. And he's oh, got that kid with her. Oh. oh. I know. To be fair, that, that receptionist, she would, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, Poor old poor face. Well, can't you tell? Just stick your finger up his ass. Not right on. Just stick your finger up his ass. See what happens. He's got no zest. Oh, oh the gem of thumb up its butthole. Oh, really doesn't like it. This dog is fucking dead. It's not dead. It's sleeping. <laughs> Yeah, Kate Mulker was last seen buying a train ticket to Glasgow. <laughs> How would you describe his normal condition? Look, I've got to tell you the hard, the hard, the hardcore truth about this fucking dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's the guy from Hiding High. Look, it's Ted Is that Doberman? That's a. That's not Doberman. No, it's a bus. It's a beagle. Uh, that's a beagle. Up, up, up. He's got the short legs. Up, up. 
Aren't they naturally like sleepy dogs, like droopy dogs? What? Aren't they? Yeah, beagles. Yeah. <laughs> Interdimensional lizards are good acting from the dog. Probably the best one so far. <laughs> Would you like to stay with the doctor for a few days, huh? Do you like that? To be fair, the dogs like that. Think how many he takes he had to do. The dog is probably like exhausted from all these takes. <laughs> <laughs> the dog, the dog's knackered because it's been up all night with her talk, telling it, telling the dog that about Kote being a red Indian because nobody knew. <laughs> This dog's just tired of having to act with amateurs. <laughs> Are we going to get on with a fucking murder already or what? She's coming. Now. She's coming? Go. <laughs> Give her time. Oh. <laughs> Dirty bitch, look. Don't worry, Charles. She's coming. There'll be time. You won't. Oh my god, have they got an intercom system? I don't know what I don't know why, I don't know why they're murder. on with the neighbours intercom. Why are they on the why are they Why is she hooked into the neighbours intercom? I don't know. Why would you why would you plot something over an intercom? <laughs> well, you, you never know when you need to get a, a scoop on why something, would you right? Could it be <laughs> Let's conspire to commit crimes Guys, over the intercom yeah, system. The I sure hope the journalist bitch in. next door doesn't listen to this. The operator might be listening in on the, the wire. I know, let's get intercom. <laughs> oh no! She oh, was Alexa for it came into fashion. Uh, hey buddy, can you come see me Bob murdering that journalist who lives next door? The one who taps our intercom? Oh, she's just going to let the albini get murdered, is she? She's expendable. Janeway's <laughs> always understood the value of others. <laughs> she's got to have a decent scoop, that's why she's going to let her die. Charlie, how's Joanne like her steak? Medium rare, if she ever gets it. I mean, we did everything... Bloody and battered in the kitchen. Oh, no, that's... The most stupid, boring conversation I have ever heard. Only for dentists, buddy, only for dentists. They're dragging this fucking murder out. You, you don't have to get At least with Jessica Fletcher, you get a murder no straight way. away, and then she turns up. that was your wife. I'm guessing this wasn't written and directed by the same people, then. Charlie, that's your wife. She's got a slight case of death. <laughs> She's not dead yet. <laughs> Fucking hell, Jesus Christ! Did, did they did they did they blow all the money, all the budget on the fucking murder, and that's why they've had to wait so long for it to happen? The uh, true victim in this case is you, the audience. Exactly. <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you. Is that the dude in the black? Gonna, is that dude in the black? Is I'm he going to escape going to the holodeck? You. Is that what's going to happen? I, I don't know. Like, like you know, now like like you. the next gen when take off all your clothes. Uh, Moriarty keeps escaping. Yeah, yeah. Take off your clothes. Yeah, <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'm not even totally gonna do it. Yeah. <laughs> but you must do what I say. Show me your boobs. He wants me to do his wife. <laughs> Told you. I'll pay you double to do him. <laughs> uh... <laughs> we don't do guys. <laughs> Why would you do turning around like? Yeah, <laughs> cool. I know you're frightened, and I know you don't want me to look at you. Dirty bastard. But everything you're thinking is wrong. I just want you to believe that I'm not going to hurt you in any way. Except for murdering you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe a bit of rape. Maybe a bit of light yeah. rape. Is no, this some sort of porno? Is this my words? <laughs> Well, what wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> You'll have to join Hemi's OnlyFans to find That's the exciting worst, conclusion worst to this episode. But worst Voyager episode ever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is better than the one where they go to the holodeck and it's the Irish people. <laughs> I thought I thought the um, sense and sensibility was the bad one. Oh God! No, that's Red Dwarf. Man, what? hitmen are really inefficient in the 1960s. Fucking hell. We need to do a lot of exposition. Get on with it already. We're almost 
fucking early paid you to do it, not to enjoy yourself, pal. Oh, there you see. She's, she's never seen a bit of minge I think we nearly saw a bit of whinge then. A very oh, wait, he's, he's, no, he's... Oh, fucking hell, look at that air dry. He could have oh, beat her to death God. with that. That would... <laughs> <laughs> She's just going to sit there and let him put the hair, hair dryer in the fucking bath. <laughs> no, she's going to do it herself. Oh, my God. Kill yourself or I'll kill you. <laughs> I can't help but think I'm going to die either way. Yeah. You know what you do now, right? If he passes you the head, right? You, you turn it on and blow it in his eyes. And grab his gun and shoot him. There you go. In the not too distant future, hey, next be, Friday, a a a a about, a there was a guy a named Hemingford. Not too different from you and me. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, Mrs. Columbia. You're really Do you work at Gizmonic Institute? Stop being a hall monitor, Cannon. One of my students died last night. Oh, dear, I'm sorry. Alphabet Cat said positively North? shocking. That's like the scene in Gold so. Goldfinger. Uh, Joanna had the hour before yours. Very nice. Oh. Very stupid accident. Electrocuted in a bathtub with a hair dryer. Can you imagine? Uh, I think we spoke the other day. Electrocuted and brutally raped in a bathtub. Uh, uh, are they not, are they not checking this a bit more? They, they admitted that bit. <laughs> wow, what a shocker. And no you Or sent in cheesy movies. movies, the worst that we can find. La la la. He'll have to sit and watch them all. Then we'll monitor his mind. Yeah, and you let it happen just because you just so you could get a story for your newspaper. But who's Martin? Is there something wrong? No, I don't think so. Oh, I think I get it. I think they installed the intercom, but there's an accident, and they accidentally got across line with the other lot. Whoopsie doopsie. Yeah, as you do. And he didn't, and he didn't figure this out in the last like what half an hour. Yeah. yeah. That looks like the Sopranos house. Wow, the frame rate on this is terrible. Is it? Oh, I'm, I'm watching it direct. <laughs> no, that's what I mean. No, I mean, like, I think it's the actual film. The frame rate's it, like. It's <laughs> looking alright for me. It's TV. It's 30, I don't, 30 frames. Yeah, second. that's what I mean. I think it's the actual television program. Like. Fucking hell, Fraser. You're, Anybody you've home? been. Hello Fucking hell, our Fraser's got ADHD because the frame rate isn't enough. Yeah. We need those FPS, frames. Man. Yeah. Sergeant Norris. This is probably 24 yeah. FPS. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that does look a bit... Is this interpolating? Yeah, God, I really like the doors which open halfway. Barn doors. Stable doors. Yeah. What's that? Columbo? That is the weirdest Central coffee Hanukkah. fucking... Yeah. I've yeah. never seen someone pour through the funnel. What the fuck? <laughs> what? I'm local. Yeah. Detective Bureau. <laughs> How do you take the coffee? It's not even hot. He's been on the fucking ring. You just leave your fucking electric ring. I love how wasteful the Yanks are. Don't you? <laughs> just leave your fucking thing on all day. It keeps the house warm, but the house is a bit too hot, so I'm going to open the barn door. <laughs> no, never met her. Her husband? I don't put this milk in the refrigerator, so when it goes off, I go into my car and buy some more. <laughs> the shop's 50 miles away. But you heard something there, like, ah, telephone? She, buy, she buys 80 hmm. litres of milk at a time. I hear their voices all the time on a box by my typewriter. Okay. Voices come to you on a little box, ma'am? <laughs> so yes. Mrs. Yeah, it's Houston Red Indian Boy. man. He keeps telling me he's going on Did a fishing quest. Before she died, she died. <laughs> Thank you very much for your kind attention, Sergeant Norris. You can see why she got the role of Jane, can't you? Oh, excuse yeah. me, Mrs. Columbo. I did mean to <clears throat> Oh, no. Well, I want to know, is how did Janeway get up like before before uh, Picard? After she was dead. What kind of a question is that? No, 
Sorry. Uh, can we start again, please? I think it's one of those like participation trophies. <laughs> so the, the other thing I want to uh, the other thing I wanted to ask Hoppy is how can she be admiral in in uh, Nemesis yet Voyager is after this TNG is an isn't it? Did she get busted from admiral to become a captain just no like Clark? Well, just like Clark. No, Nemesis is after Voyager. Voyager's at the same time as no, Next Generation. Oh, right. Okay. Like, all of them are. Like, yeah, they, that, that's the thing with Star Trek. They never went past, like, Next um, Generation timeline. No. Voyager happens a few years after the start of TNG because it's, like, in the middle of the Marquee War. Yeah. And the, the Voyager ship is like designed to go into nebulas and stuff. I heard her language tape that's playing on that machine. More I heard pointing. voices the night she died. That's I even reason. heard the bathwater running before you need, she got You need a pointing ship in space to go through the nebulas. His right? name was Martin. Now, Sergeant, it's none of my business. It has no bearing on my life. But as a reasonably responsible citizen, I would just like to tell you what I heard. And I I've got to say, Jaime is, to young Jaime is Columbo. cute. May I ask yeah, she is actually oh, looking for yeah. In the Houston home, do you have any idea where these little boxes intercoms. are? <laughs> intercoms. Do you have any idea where these little intercoms are located? Well, I think there's one in the kitchen. Charlie was drinking some juice. And there's one in the bedroom. Kitchen and the bedroom. Mrs. Columbus. Well, you have a water She's dispenser water in your house. In kitchen to give to oh, the dog. Why? Oh, yeah, I can't use tap You're water. <laughs> <laughs> they put fluoride and chemicals that turn the do dogs gay. Is, is Columbo on the tape? <laughs> I get a feeling that, you know, not all the evidence was making it to the locker. <laughs> put it that way. Do you think a few murder suspects were getting away with a, with a, with a brown envelope? Hmm. Ma'am? I've got to say, she got a lovely line in frumpy clothes, didn't she? <clears throat> this man, Martin, he told the husband it was I swear that cop is trying to fuck her, isn't he? Sergeant, the bank was <laughs> running, and Charlie said... <laughs> like, he, 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 he bumped into Columbo in the canteen, exactly he's like, I fucking can't stand you, you can't always shake you off. Are we going to start that again? No, no. <laughs> <clears throat> Tell me again the very first thing he said. Who, Martin? The husband. Martin. No, the husband. The husband's name is Charles. And Charles. he said, Martin, she's coming now. Martin, she's coming now. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <Martin, she's> <laughs> he might have been the same <laughs> life. <laughs> we can go in. What the fuck? Police, police officers oh. just have keys to people's houses in, in America, do they? Is he picking two. the lock? No, it's he's just fucking going in with a key. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, wait. Hey, this is his house. Ma'am. Why? It is now. What? <laughs> yeah, you fucking bitch. <laughs> that ain't sure. Squat is right. I got three watching on Rumble, but no one's commenting in the live chat. Living room. She, off license says she needs to be on the bridge of the USS Voyager. No, she doesn't. <laughs> this, is, this is where she belongs. That's a nice bit of carpet. Yeah, on the fucking curvy stairs, yeah. Do you see the nice little pattern in the carpet? It's Ben Weston. Five like second people. rule. That You're in that house now, eat. Dave. <laughs> oh, you're my wife now. <laughs> you're my wife now, Dave. Wait, why are you, uh, isn't that evidence? Why are you putting your fingerprints on evidence? Hello, Dave. It's okay. She's a journalist. She doesn't have to bother stupid police rules. Oh, yeah, this what, was what's, that, what's that yeah. bullshit they say on Twitter? Oh, we're always running towards a problem. What's the thing? Must be somewhere else. Oh, well, I know there's one we were of the always bedrooms. running towards trouble. Do you remember that shit that they used to say on Twitter? Before they just got told to learn to code. <coughs> oh, yeah. They, they, were, they were telling that to miners, weren't they? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 
<coughs> Did you know Kate Mulgrew had a bit of a rough early adult life? What, she was oh no, person. that's terrible. Crap. What, was she only able to afford 20 cigarettes a day? <laughs> Why is that television on the floor? It's a good place to put it, really. Like, is this where she some comes up and something clever, clever? This room's been moved around. I can tell because the TV's on the floor. There's no way you're watching that TV from the bed when it's on the floor. Is it me or Yank Copper's rubbish? Because, like, they've always got, like, middle-aged housewives helping them with their helping them fucking solve <laughs> cases. I, uh... Wait. Wait, it's a bath. It's not in the tub. Ha, 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 you knew it was. That's quite a good no shot, though. Anywhere in the house. Well... Must have you been can't see the camera at all in this mirror. It must have been. Mm. Just a coincidence. A lawyer named Charlie... Joanne's French lessons. I just know there are no intercoms, ma'am. It was an accident, Mrs. Colombo. Oh, well, they, they couldn't possibly have been taken out, could they? Wow. Well. Thank you for being so patient. I understand. It's my pleasure. Well, she's flirting with him, dirty oh, bitch. Boy. Is Colombo not Isn't giving it? it to her? Obviously not. He's well. not in the fucking... He hasn't been home for a while, has he? <laughs> I was going to say, he, he's quite absent in this. It's just like... <laughs> Did she get noise? She's just like, Jimmy just asked you one more question. It's like, God damn it, Columbo, I'm cheating on even, you. Fucking hell, did you see the door. spark on that bell when he pushed the button? Look, fucking it's hell. Jesus. Yep. That's mains electricity, all right. Anything else I can do for you, Mrs. Columbo? Just put your tongue in that for me. Jesus Mail. Christ. Oh, Looks like one of those. What are they called? Those, bo those balls? Is it the Newton's ball or something? Total Mary Sue can fix her own doorbell. Fucking hell, I wouldn't go anywhere near that, that fucking thing with sparks like that coming <laughs> off it. Wait, hold on. The doorbell's all the way over there. How... Why is it on the opposite side of the room? It needs to be connected to the doorbell, right? Yeah, by wire. Was it wireless? Yeah. yeah, where's the wire? Well, what did you like to know? Oh, Van de Graaff generator, I think. I, I... I think that's what. <clears throat> what static fucking, electricity? Fucking hell! They've got a normal, a normal. What? Why is the hole so small on that washing machine? What is it with Yanks and washing machines? They either have that with a thing you can barely get your clothes in, or, or you have ah, a Ah, but it lifts up, Hemi. It lifts up. It goes upwards, not to, not to sideways. Well, normally they have those stupid twin tubs, don't they? I think the few of them do have front washing machines. I don't, I don't think Columbo's washing washing that out on a regular copper's wage, is he? Now, for those of you that weren't born, like, uh, in the before times, this is called a phone book. <laughs> I think you need to explain I'm what that thing is he's doing there. <laughs> phone books have only... Not been a thing since the 2000s. Oh shit, she was in something else as well. May I tell him who's calling? Oh, my name is Mrs. Mrs. Martin. It's a very personal matter. I'll see if he's taking calls. Oh shit, what was she from? Yes, Mrs. Martin. How may I help you? I've got a slight case of death. Mrs. Martin, and this is Charles Houston. Joanne, uh, no. you up in the bedroom, babe? Yes, Mrs. Martin. Open the pop bay doors, Hal. What are you doing? Joanne? What are you doing, Dave? I'll see you tonight. Yes, Mrs. Martin. Oh, I love it. Mrs. Martin. Mrs. Charles. This, this is where she oh, we've totally already been off license. We missed, missed it. Yeah, cute ass. Smash your pals on Kate Mulgrew, Hobbit. This is Charles Houston. Uh, no, it's just like, why have you got all these uh, things got? Oh, Blender. That. I think the. Uh, I, I think your milk's blended. 
He buys 18 pints a day with her if she needs it or not, I can't do it. Think of that house's monthly electric bill. So you're fucking... Sale. What about your bread in the oven? Or whatever it is. Yeah, don't forget that. It's what, fine. What she just does that so it smells in the house. That. She goes and gets bread from the shop. Yeah. Just leave all your produce out on the table. You know, don't worry about rats or mice or anything. That chicken will be fucked, says Dead West. Uh, oh, look. Look at her, look, hanging with the Italian American women. It is K Colombo. It's K for kleptomaniac. Kate. Oh, yeah. Because uh, she's. God, that was like original. It's just like. Hey, what's the actress Jane, name? Wait, Kate Mulgrave. name, Kate, as well. That's right. We'll, we'll just call her Kate Colombo then. This, this is what we call the Hey, did you know her like her middle name is Catherine? It's, but it's Catherine Kate it's Colombo. A, <laughs> it's uh, it's Chekhov's leaflet. <laughs> it's Chekhov's junk mail. <laughs> Jenny, Jenny, come back here. Concentration Fuck is you, the bitch. spirit of our art. Yes, ma'am. Now let's try it again. And Glissada Sun Blades. Glissada Sun Blades. Yes. I'm calling Mr. Charles Houston. I like how ballerinas have like permanent foot injuries from doing their art. No, he did not receive the units, but he didn't get to the Ballerinas in the future can be fit percent more gay. Just just so you know. Is it me or does Kate or does Kate Mulgrew when she's doing RP sound a bit like daughter of Albion? Happen to have his charge number with me, isn't it? Stupid, but I can give you his address. One five. That's like that. That's Wait, what. That's boy, what Dora Valby will sound like when she's eighty. Two boys in that class. If you call me in a few hours, my home phone is five 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 nine eight. Five 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 doesn't exist. Oh, and my fingernails. They always start with five five five. That's the Hollywood area code. <laughs> no, it doesn't exist. It's, it's, it's a made up poly. It's a made up code, isn't it? You iron. Oh no, that's what I'm saying, it's the Hollywood area code. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll get one. Yeah, but there can only, there can only be a, uh, 999, was it 9,099 million numbers? Fucking hell, how many eggs has she just bought? <laughs> um, enough that she can burn like 40 omelettes oh, a week. Yeah. <laughs> Which bread she got burned, man? By Dude. the way, that's just the groceries for today. That's not the week <laughs> shopping. Jenny. Do you hear me? Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dumkoff. Did you iron your blouses? The mouse drawn up the socks. Get in here, miss. Now, get moving. I know another one who's going to get struck if she Is Columbo right working now. a particularly difficult case? Hello? He's working yes. to get away from these two. <laughs> oh. The intercoms were shipped to Mr. Houston five weeks ago. Yes. Yes, thank you very Just much. One more, one more thing, Kate. One more thing. It, it, it's Chakotay, you realize, Red Indian. <laughs> you realise in five years' time they're both going to gang up on him and uh, make his life hell, so he's, he's gone now. <laughs> Not tonight, Ginger. Just skip, I just... Huh? No rehearsal tonight. He's, uh, Col Columbo, he's definitely taking some fucking brown envelopes off of someone. <laughs> Is that why he's all dishevelled? He's racked with guilt that he's going to get caught any minute. <laughs> he just sleeps in his car and drinks whiskey. Is that what he does? <laughs> Like this is this is what I don't get. Like Columbo always looks like he's ro rolled out of a bush or something. Yet she's always doing doing ironing. There's something not adding yes, up. Yes, I'd here. like to speak with Sergeant Norris. <laughs> oh, well then I'll leave a message. Is this meant to be a spin-off series for Columbo? Uh, I don't think I don't think because they dropped the Columbo bit in the second series. And I think they even renamed it at one point as well. 
Would you care for a cup of coffee? Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> Spedwest said he'd rather sleep in the car than with this meddling this Karen. Columbo, thank you for coming. Can you come in, please? <laughs> This is Colombo. I'm Charles Houston. I'm mm. happy you could join us. Would you care to Is he doing the Darth Vader not... bit? Look, he's trying to take. He's going he's to force, yeah. force, 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 take Columbo. the gun off the copper. Is he? Wasn't Wasn't that the guy who killed his wife as well? Yeah. No, no, he wasn't no, the guy no, that killed the wife, but he was the guy that paid right. the guy to kill the wife. Right. He just looks very similar before. to the guy. Where you... the fuck do the other two fit into it? Or, 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 or was he one of the other two? <laughs> no. We live near you. Uh, is it possible I offended you in some way that I... No. Oh, he found out that you were playing him. ...died by an unfortunate accident. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> it's the bit from Robocop, well, isn't it? About the intercoms, Alex Murphy is dead. Houston. Why are you doing this I to me? You know the bit, Hubbard. Mr. Houston, the building manager... Oh, God. Too. Robert, I would appreciate it oh, if you hold all the other calls. Mrs. Pryor, except for Judge Myerson, we do need the continuance of 10 Oh days. no, he took, took them home. Dun, dun, dun. He took them to the office. I'm oh, sorry. What you were saying, Mrs. Uh, Colombo? I found out that you had ordered the intercom. Uh, this intercom and the one in Mrs. Pryor's office. Yes, I ordered them when the old one... A bit of a design for, for the, the intercom system to connect to, like... Every customer that uses it. <laughs> the thing is, it's not wired. It needs to be wired, right? But I did. So it must have got a wire in the home, right? Is that how it works? Well, they're literally intercom. They're like not international car. <laughs> yeah. How did it wire to his? Like, yeah. That's the thing. Your whole is from that. This is a holiday episode, isn't it? Has to be, because it's built on a really shaky premise. It couldn't have been you, Mr. Houston. There weren't any intercoms. Sorry, uh, have there been any other recent deaths in our neighborhood? No, sir. None. <laughs> what does that Mrs. Columbo, My defense, uh, your well, name is did not else get totally killed? unfamiliar to me. <laughs> you know, that means I didn't kill my wife. Has anyone else murdered their wife? No. Well, obviously I didn't then, did I? Byline in that throwaway newspaper that we I worked for the papers. I but proved I didn't murder my heard. wife, so nobody else could Working have murdered my wife, so it, no, she wasn't murdered. I wanted to mention there's a point, so everyone trusted each other back then, so uh, all the in intercoms were linked. <laughs> you, you never know when you needed to help out a neighbour, you see, so yeah. it was kind of you useful. You just go around, you know. Uh, the, yeah, some fucking journalist she is, isn't she? Look, she's been fucking done over. Probably just as well, because I've embarrassed myself enough for one day, haven't I? Oh, don't, don't. You've just made her fucking cry, you oh, horrible drop. cunt. You made Jane wait, sir. Yes, of course. Yeah, this is as nearly as bad as the time that, that, that Picard got captured in a year trophy yes. over her. Why would a woman with a new hairdo ruin it with an electric hairdryer? Go on, girl. Use those, use those woman oh. words. Yeah. Perhaps she didn't like it. Yes, so she jumped in the bath and blew, blew her hair. Yeah, that's all. Just one more thing. Just one more thing. <laughs> you fucking horrible cunt. You made her cry Mrs. now. Mrs. Colombo, if your husband had been in my position, I'm sure he would have done the same thing. I'm sure. Oh, no. Well, she's bringing up the fucking Colombo card. Oh, no. That's well, fucking dirty, that is. Help. Oh, thank you. My husband's a famous detective. Just you watch yourself. Yeah, yeah. My husband will have you on fucking traffic. He's like you a can. new dog, Mrs. Colombo. Like a new animal. Vitamins, tonics. Yeah, can... Like night and day. A little science, a little insight. And they really, they really are missing a trick here. They could do the dead parrot sketch, couldn't they? Doctor, he looks exactly the same. <laughs> the same. He's fucking dead, you can't. He's got no zest, no spark. Janeway was seen to, b boarding a holodeck on the way to, on the way to the vets. He ain't Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> oh, poor dog. My assistant will have your bill. 
Who what? Oh, come on. She, <laughs> Let's go. You expect her to solve a case, yeah, it doesn't yeah, realise yeah, yeah. it. What the fuck have I got a choke lead on a dog like that? You don't need a choke lead on a dog like that. Oh, What's he gonna do? Run away? <laughs> that dog's really gonna pull on the lead, isn't it? <laughs> you know he's gonna do some of the fucking daft like pay that geezer to try and kill Janeway yeah. or something, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's the murderer then, I bet? Um, the murderer is uh, Janeway, <laughs> and the victim is you, the audience. <laughs> what's the point? In, what's the point in watching a fucking murder thing if you know who the murderer is? I've, I've never understood this about the young. The idea of a murder mystery is you don't know who the murderer is. Not you know who the murderer is and you're just waiting for him to get caught. Yeah, there's like subtle clues throughout the thing and you got to find yeah. it and like, you know. Going to be all right now. Use your old knowledge. It's no I murder guess, she wrote, is it? So American. You can hear the yeah. carousel from the pier. We're not going to have any more trouble with Mrs. Columbo. Sometimes I can hear the carousel from my apartment. I love that. I can uh, see why this never we got repeated on, on, no. light, on air. About everything. I've seen Murder, She Wrote, but I've never seen this. Let's see. I think I should find the uh, Murder, She Wrote, the crossover. Time, I had a very astute lawyer, but my lawyer forgotten about the intercoms. If I hadn't taken them out of the house after the your twist wife, is it was Columbo the whole time. Well, what do you want to talk about? What? Uh, I'm trying to deal with our situation. You couldn't even deal with your own wife, Charles. Mrs. Columbo knows my <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. Else first. Faggot. Oh, it's cool. Sure, it's fine. Sick burn. She knows what Martin did. The police don't believe her. What else does she know? Nothing. Nothing. She doesn't even believe herself now. So, we're out of danger. At no point does Charles go, hold on a minute, it was you she was talking to on the fucking intercom, you can. I'm glad you agree. You know, you frighten me, Mr. Houston. You're a very sensitive man. You feel these things deeply. And you know everything. Don't you, Mr. Houston? Did you just kill it? Yeah. Oh, that's quick. That escalated quickly. Well, well, they yeah. He's got the murder gloves on. <laughs> murder gloves. All she got to do is find a bloke with murder gloves. Is that a copper going to guilt trip her now? Say it's because you're a big meanie he went and killed himself. Yeah. Fucking hell, he's making hard work of that, and he? he can just do the coat hanger down the side of the fucking window on a car like that. <laughs> Thirty-five cents for a hot dog. The good old days. Yeah. Look, oh, ice cream. Some ice poor cunt's dead. She's stuffing her good fucking morning, face. Mr. Look. Oh, thank you. Is this where it happened? Murder rules get yes, me okay. hungry. <laughs> yeah, I heard it on the radio. A police report: prominent Los Angeles criminal attorney Charles Houston was a victim of suicide early this morning. So they say. Yes, they found his body down there. Can't even bear to look. Then don't look. <laughs> You'd think the detective would have the key. He's got keys for everything. Started. What's that? A suicide? Well, a, uh, a police officer found a locked car registered to Mr. Houston. I'm having it open. Oh. I like drumsticks. I love them. Do you think like she did that perfectly in one take, but she said to the director, "No, we need to do this again." <laughs> <laughs> Any clues? Oh, look at her chowing down on that. That's what she'd be like with your cut cover. What? No she, she likes no. it to be vanilla and no, cold. No, 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 no. Oh, look there. Yeah. Mouth fully no spillage there. Taking the lot. Mrs. Colombo. Charles Houston wanted a judge to give him a continuance for 10 days so he could go to New York. People who want things like that on contemplating suicide. That's absurd. With all due respect, ma'am, 
What a man says at two in the afternoon and what he feels. She's biting the ice cream. Haram. Yeah. Spawning. His wife dead. Oh, she loves Ramadan. Himself, Come on. Why would poor Charlie do, do, do one of those Cadbury flake adverts with it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> 99 that ice cream. I really don't want to go on with this oh, but I think you have to, Sergeant. Why do I have to? Because you have to figure out why a man who was going to throw himself over a cliff went to the trouble of locking his car. But this is 1980. I think she's like 25 or something. Like, so she was like 40 when she became captain of the Mrs. Virgin. Columbo, just a minute. I, I don't know. <laughs> she always looks, looks like she was middle-aged. <laughs> Sounds like it too. Oh, he's got his murder dress. <laughs> he's, got murder. he's got he's got his murder dressing gown on. It's an interesting paint job on that. Is she after a new car. Nice rolls in the back there. Huh? Been in a wreck. My husband drives it. He's away, and I really do want him to surprise it. Is he surprise easy? How much? Full tune up. The top, the upholstery. Ugh. What happened to the upholstery? The dog ate it. Oh, you dirty bitch. <laughs> She'd be fucking, she be fucking the in there, wouldn't she? Here's the black switch <laughs> on. That wasn't the dog biting down on the upholstery. She stays with everything. Dirty <laughs> fucking. <laughs> That's that's his bite marks are from the dog. I don't, I've never seen I've never seen a mechanic Why in a lab coat before. The what the fuck? He, what is wrong with <laughs> you? It's a fucking yeah. <laughs> Omit upholstery. Wearing a lab coat to be a Cut mechanic. $300. Okay, now you're talking. That's very reasonable. I'll just take the upholstery for three hundred bucks. Lady, you want the upholstery alone? You don't get the volume discount. The upholstery <laughs> by itself is nine hundred and fifty dollars. Oh well, now that's very expensive, isn't it? Ma'am, you drive a foreign car, everything's expensive. You tell me what it is you want to cut out. A foreign car? What the fuck is it? <laughs> well, the tuna. What do you think? Tell him I fuck off, I guess we could mate. live without that. Say, hey, fuck off. Get your mate Chakoti to do it. Well, doesn't look that bad, does it? Is that the <laughs> fucking pinhead from Hellraiser? You see that fucking hey, Porsche that's hung bro. up on fucking fish hooks on chains? Which one do you want? <laughs> yes, I do see it. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> have you ever seen anyone lift a car like that before? We have such deals to show you. <laughs> <laughs> I have such sights to show you. A vision quest. You opened the door. We came. <laughs> I bet Advanced. you're reading a book called Advanced Journalistic Technique. <laughs> dickory, dickory, duck. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock oh god, the killer's now taunting her. Like, Jesus. Where the fuck is that? Is that Intercom? <laughs> I think I think somebody in fucking script writing school needs to work out how fucking intercom works. I, I like that people in Hollywood don't understand how any technology works ever. <laughs> By nature, it's called a fucking intercom. Not Have you noticed intercom. they're really reluctant to show any form of people using a mobile phone? <laughs> Registered at your hotel with the police convention. I talked to him there in London. Uh, Ma'am, please, will you please check again? Two hours ago. Well, why did he go on to New York? I don't. Ma'am, ma'am, please. <laughs> Columbo to me. went out. Is, is, the, is the plot that Columbo went out to buy a pack of today? cigarettes and never came back? Do you is know the, the other plot plot plot? Plot? <laughs> No, no, no. I'm sorry, no. I'm sure she'll be calling. Thank you. She can't do crying very well, can she? No. Just looks stressed. 
Is that a grem? Is that a gremlin hover? It's like the Ford Pinto. I'm not um, too good with American cars. Where's she off to now? Why does anyone have a joint house? Oh, it's an AMC Pacer. Alphabet cat thinks it might be. Yeah, the format's a bit rubbish, isn't it? You really need to, like, you need a bit of mystery. Like, oh, I letting, s you know... Letting you know who the murderer is, it just gets a bit tedious, doesn't it? I, I know I'm not the most attentive of viewers, but I, I don't know what the plot is, why their intercoms are sharing the same connection, why the murderer's like, hey, let's plot to do a murder on the intercom. Oh, she's using her advanced B&E skills to get, gain access. <laughs> Just to solve this case to get out of the gal, the holodeck. There's a holodeck malfunction. Oh, it's the escape room scenario. Yeah. <laughs> she has to be a sleuth. <laughs> There's a reason you never see her go back to this holodeck program, because it took her 20 years to get out of it. That's a good idea, put your hand on the fucking ring. Jesus Christ, look at that thing. It looks industrial, doesn't it? What do you reckon to the salt and pepper grinders at the back of it? That's a good place to put them. Are they big enough? Those are restaurant style ones. What is she lighting the gas for? Uh, she wants to like, have a ciggy, but she doesn't like using a match. Is she in? Does it matter? She just gains access to like people's houses willy nilly. Oh, what a surprise! There's someone in the house who just broke in. So. Hey, what are you doing in my house? Well, I was cold and thought I'd let myself in. Oh, it's the By the way, house you... where the woman died. I told you that was a nice bit of carpet. See the little pattern on there? By the way, your coffee's terrible. You should buy nicer coffee. <laughs> Why have you only got two dozen eggs? You've got to have at least four dozen eggs if you want to run a proper household. Look, I, I often end up burning the first four or five omelettes, so uh, you're going to need more eggs. I mean, that bread is still in the oven. Man, it must be black by now. It's been like weeks. Brown it, bread. It's fine. Look, the Americans, when they burn down the house, they just go into another one made out of like cardboard and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Not reusable houses, is that it? Well, disposable houses, disposable income, it's not something us Europeans would understand. Dispo disposable family. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, you watch this and your opinion of Colombo really goes downhill, doesn't it? It makes me wonder, why didn't any of the accused turn around on him? It's like, let me ask you one question, Colombo. Why did you abandon your wife? <laughs> she had to go off into space because she was so lonely. In the future, yeah. <laughs> She waited for you all this time, but you know, 200 years is not, you know, he never came back. So they left the fucking wa the wa the, the waterlogged fucking air dryer on the fucking side. Well, you know, what, what's evidence? Do you, know, do you know how this would go if it was in England? It would be like, oh no, I've, put, I've dropped the hair dryer in the bath. Oh, it's a good job I've got RCDs. But instead, it uh, yanks just full of full of yeah. electricity straight into the bath. Oh, 
shit, you know, it's like up. um. Fucking hedge trimmers, Jesus Christ, that's a bit excessive, isn't it? Look, oh, the, the fuse is blown again. Shot. Put a 2-2 two, two bullet in its place. That'll work. Wow, he's walking up by stairs really slowly. Holy shit. Fucking hell. Oh, a little off the top then, love. What? You think the police didn't check that? Really? Okay. Learning French with Odo. Oh, that car's <laughs> a Ford Pinto. Sped West is good at first. Didn't you say it was a Pinto? Is she going to defend herself? She's not very really observing, is she? My name is Roy. I saw you come in. What are you doing in my house? What do you want? I do the gardening. I don't know what to do. I don't even know if I still work in this place. Nobody tells me anything. Can you tell me? No, I, I don't know anything. You're gonna have to ask somebody else. Everybody's dead. They're all dead, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> he's, dead. he's working. He's working, and there's no one to fucking pay him because they're all dead. What the fuck? <laughs> Poor bastard. She won't even put him I out of his misery. Mm, my boss it? just died. I wonder if I've got any. Uh, they're <laughs> fucking <laughs> dead. And, they're <laughs> fucking dead, and you're working for them, and they're Maybe dead. <laughs> Roy was last seen buying a ticket to fucking San Francisco. Eleven years. Now it's like I'm waiting for somebody to tell me. Oh, Colombo drove a 59 Peugeot 403 Hobbit. Oh, ho he ho. It's not as glamorous as Inspector Morse with his S type. Was she in Quincy? I've definitely seen her in some of You might have played a doctor. I think she was in Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman. What was this? The 1970s or 1980s? Was it 80s? Why would you think that? The salads here are terrific. It all started with new intercoms. Mr. Houston brought them. Fuck you, now that's a bit excessive for a salad. Said something about a mix up with the police, something, some. Jesus Christ, that'd do me two meals. How about you, lads? That's uh, they that's what they consider to be a healthy meal, you see. That's a light salad. <laughs> I'm basically gonna have two, two bites out of it and say go go to the staff. Can you just throw the rest away please? I, you won't I really tell them don't I like it the whole salad. Yeah. If I like somebody Since when do you have palm tree leaves in the fucking salad? When you went to America. Would you do something for me? <laughs> oh, oh kinky. You're the only one who came to see me. Sometimes I work for a little newspaper. And Mr. Houston was going to tell me about an interesting friend of his named Martin. I think it was very important to Mr. Houston that I interview his friend. Do you know anybody at She's all? She's all over fucking Martin. Martin, like flies on shit, isn't she? First or last name? Ugh. Could be either one. We have a machine. Bad for machine. Oh, dot matrix printers. <laughs> fucking hell, do you remember them? Oh, oh man. man. No that brings back memories. Yeah. There's a Martin Reeves, Mr. Houston's florist. No, I don't think so. How far back do these clients go? Five years. Martin Elizabeth, Martin Eves, Martin. <laughs> Mugwort Martin. said that's ridiculous, and I'm a mutt. I think he's talking about the salad. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, he's only fourteen. Well, it's the other thing as well. I mean, this was back in like the seventies as well. It's just like that was. The, uh, a healthy option. I think this is 1980. Yeah. That and a couple of cigarettes. I suppose if they've got these, yeah, technology be 80s, right? They wouldn't have had this in the 70s. They had dot matrix printers in the 70s. Did they? Oh, okay. Yeah. They had 40 yeah. disc drives Considering in the 70s. I, I, have, I have no like, recollections before 1988. You know. Oh, 79 to 1980. This only lasted one year. Oh, right. Yeah, I told you the 70s. What, is something wrong? Didn't you, you know, notice how beige everything was? We have to buy this computer marvel. May I? Certainly. Wow, a microcomputer. In criminal cases, Mr. Houston always builds an advance of It's only 80 pounds. Mm, so portable. There's nothing like that in there. Can I keep this, Mrs. Fry? Well, that's what it's for. <laughs> Do you think that's the right, Martin? 
I suppose I'll have to call them, won't I? Thank you very much for your help. Take care of yourself. Mrs. Colombo. Could we have lunch together again sometime? Oh, no, yes. she'll be dead in a week. I'd like that very much. But this time, let's have something a bit more substantial, like half a camel. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, but no. Come Fem on, feminist, back. feminist must have like raged at this. Like she's doing housework. I'm doing it poorly as well. Yeah. She's doing the coffee filter thing again. Why? Oh, and that's got filthy hands as well. I haven't even washed your hands. Just like. Oh, the daughter from this is a composer. She does film scores. Does she? Okay. Mm. What's her name? Her name's Lily Hayden. What has she up, done? Uh, nothing any good. No. Alright. The Horse Boy. I don't know if that's a pre pre prequel to Horse Man. <laughs> American Drug War 2, Cannabis Destination or something. House that Jack built. What? Driver X. Feminist. I think I've heard what of the House that Jack built. Don't know what it's about though. Uh, no. Nah. Um, Carl X missing out on this. I think you watched this first time when it came out. Who? Carl X. No oh, idea. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I got to get. It says it's not a horseman. It's horseman. Who is this, please? I got to get back home soon. You see, I can't miss Who Miss Madame Columbo. Does she eventually become Ms. Columbo? Ms. She becomes Ms. 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 <laughs> no, she calls Captain Columbo. I mean, well, yeah, she eventually she gets promoted to Captain Columbo. Sergeant Norris. <laughs> no, eight in the morning isn't good enough. Well, then, could you give me his home number? I know it's against regulations, but oh you... shit, she was no, in Nightmare on Elm Street three. I, can only talk I think that's to what Sergeant I know her from. You know the woman? Yeah, she was talking that's to in the it. Restaurant. Yeah, yeah, that, that's it. Yeah, she Mrs. looks familiar. Columbo. Yeah, what? I knew I'd yes. recognise her from somewhere. He has my home what, Kate Mulgrew? No, the woman right she was away. talking to in the restaurant. Yeah, the oh, well, oh, okay. Get the print out. Wait a minute, daughter. She looks familiar. She's in blue velvet from the other scene. Ah, uh, I, I tried to watch that film, but I found it too hard going. Is it a bit too weird? Ah, uh, it. Do you know the inspiration for that film? David no. Lynch heard Bobby Vinton sing Blue Velvet. It's like, wow, I want to make a story all about this guy that huffs nitrous and abuses women. Off in the cupboard. Yeah. No, oh, Daddy I went out for a pack of spikes and he's not coming back because you're a horrible child. I know he'll try. You said you're too annoying. He sleeps in the car rather than in the house. <laughs> Fucking hell, you, know, you know that copper she's been talking to in this? His real name's Bob Dishy. Yeah. You what? Oh. His name's Bob Bob Dishy. Oh, is he a bit dishy? Is he? Yeah. Oh, American Drug War was a documentary done by Bill Hicks's mate Kevin Boone. They, they you mean Alex Jones's mate Kevin Boone? Not the same person. Stop being a conspiracy theorist. Hello, Sergeant Norris. 
I don't mm. believe it. Nice tie dye sweater. Well, did you leave He's got some lovely one? outfits in this. Would you please mm. try? It's a smashing yeah, blouse yeah, you have on. <laughs> Tommy, oh, do, nice, do you nice use do you Tim you got on there, love? That was the one she wore to the Bukaki party. That's, that's just smashing uh. bl 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 blouse you have on. <laughs> he wants us to do his wife. <laughs> yeah, try the unlocked patio door. That would be the one. She left it unlocked. Fucking hell. Is she, is she really a cop as well? You don't like the action of that. Hey, it, it, WD on it. it was the seven piece. It was more innocent era. My, my, my husband's a policeman, you know. He'll be home any minute. <laughs> Imagine I've been, I'm in a five bit of skirt like Kate Mul Mulgrew at home and you don't want to come Hello? Around. I can't believe that Columbo abandoned his daughter. <laughs> he said, I'll detail, be right back, but I've just got to ask this guy one more question. And that was 10 years ago. Just just one more thing. Jack and Kate Mulgrew's got a decent set of tips. Oh. You see, back in the day, you had to remember numbers. You didn't go fucking out, Colombo, you I'm working, Charlotte. What ever happened to those lampshades that were the green glass? No, I've got one. Kate Colombo. Please, Mrs. Colombo, I'm not a well man. I have to talk to you. At 2.20, you have to talk. Miss Rolton, please. There's been murder. There's two murders. I'll take 500 words next Tuesday. This isn't a news story. It's happening to me. The murderer knows. I know who he is. And I am all alone in the house with my daughter. Hey, watch it, mate. She only wants one hey. thing from you, and it's disgusting. You get your daughter <laughs> in your car, and you bring her here to me. Now. Both She's wet like a fish market. And she wants <laughs> you. Yes. She's frothing at the gash. That was I easy. Know, I don't know. There's a fucking murderer, <laughs> and he's going to kill me. Well, you come to me. I ain't coming to you. I don't want to get fucking stabbed. I was saying, it's nice, there's some nice jiggle physics going on there. Interesting wallpaper, but only on one section of the wall. Daddy. It's called a feature wall. Daddy. I don't know what a feature wall is. Oh, he's got a kid. Oh, he's in trouble. His full he's name a, was used. He's a bit of a Gary Glitter, isn't he? For fuck's sake, where are these things plugged into? It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> it's amazing the intercom. Th this Two boxes with a wire between them just picks up some completely different house. See, b back in the 70s, this was like how like computers were going to be. Wireless computers. This is, this is how mystified Americans are with basic electronics. <laughs> Where's mommy, Jenny? Where's mommy? Now, bear in mind, this was filmed after Demon Seed. Is she going to come to us? Do you think she'll find us, Jenny? Over and out. She had the greatest actor, is she? Why didn't she just go to the police with the guy's name? Like... Has she just had the trademark bun since she was about 12 or something? I've been trying to reach Sergeant Norris. I am only going to... I think once she hit puberty, she just immediately no looked like she's 40. <laughs> and stayed there. Tell him I know who murdered... Mugwort John says the ether. I think he's talking about how they're connected. His name is Martin Bader. <laughs> and he has hey, taken my daughter... That's where they invented Ethernet, right? Alone There's only that company I never sold three of those things Houston and they're all invented Hux. by Tesla. I am going there now. Please. They use quantum entanglement or something. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
All she needs to do is follow the fucking wire. I, I think there's like a, a sort of recurring theme about this because, I mean, there's another show that's pretty obscure. I'm sure if you guys have seen it called Knight Rider. Yeah. And in it, the yes. car talks to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can someone watch this episode then? Come up with Knight. Glenn Aglassum is watching this and then come up with Knight Rider. And that's and like, red my light. God. What if we oh, put the intercom in a car? <laughs> you remember that one from Harry Enfield of it? You know, you know my equation, don't you? Woman plus reasonable motor equals disaster. The fuck? It took her five minutes to drive. How the fuck is her house connected to that one? <laughs> I, I give up. Like the continuity director in this was must have been having an off day. No, he was having an on day because they because it's continuously fucking connected to this one. But how? It's not the continuity <laughs> guy's fault. It's the fucking scriptwriter's fault. I, I don't know how it works, but it does. <laughs> how does it work? I don't know, but it does. We got this new technology. How do we use it? I get a feeling people that watch The Shining and trying to recreate the hotel and that. <laughs> they haven't seen this, have they? <laughs> this, was, this was Stanley Kubrick's inspiration for The Shining. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey. The Shining was later, then. it? The Shining was like 81 or something. Nine's non elucidian deuterometry you've got there in your set. The girl's gonna go red rum, red rum, red rum. Yeah, the shining nineteen eighty, this predates predates the shining, mate. Come play with us. <laughs> red rum, red rum. Work and no play makes Kate Mulgrew a dull boy. Kick him in the balls. No, the ones on the lawn. Dickory. Duck. <laughs> Come play with us. Spew on him. Go on. That's what she should have done. Spew on him. <laughs> Listening to your house, Mrs. Colombo. Uh, okay, okay, there, little, little Jenny. Jenny See, here. in this scene, you she need to be a computer. All computers talk her this way. Hey, where is she? Walking home. They missed a trick with things like Siri and these AI voices. They should have got them talking like the computer from Star Trek. Oh, yeah. uh, Mrs. Columbo. No, it needs to be like a At the junction, voice, take a it? left. What are you doing, Dave? You don't need to whisper like that, don't you? What, what are you doing, Dave? See my face. In three and a half miles, Jenny. take the M4 exit to Jenny. Birmingham. Jenny, are you all right? Jennifer, are you in your room? I don't know if the M4 goes to Birmingham, but I'm trying to predict like an American sat nav. He's unplugged it, that never will to the house again. Do you know what the real story is? Uh, Columbo found out who he was and paid him to kill his wife. <laughs> Just one more thing. Just one more thing. You gotta do my wife. <laughs> you gotta yeah, do it, yes. Do wife. <laughs> you gotta make it look like, like an accident. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to you. A lady bit of carpet. Detective heard murders where there weren't any. While prowling the house in the dark. You see, ultimately, the Columbo plan is a selfish plan. And broke her <laughs> Smoking hot Kate Mulgrew in the Alps. <laughs> yep. Kick him in the balls. Why do you go for a nut shot? Yes. Why? Tell me. 
That's something distinctly <laughs> sexual going on here. When I heard Jenny's voice, I thought the gas might make an explosion, drive you out, bring the police fast. I don't know. I didn't have anything else. A house full of gas? Oh, uh, no. A lady with a broken neck? They'll try to make the pieces fit. <laughs> Oh, oh. Ooh, the fuck is well, your plan was a bit of shit because she was supposed to fall down the stairs and die, but she's still alive. Well, yeah, that that wasn't very good. Let's just do it again. <laughs> I'm somewhat trepidatious. Oh, you meant to break, break her neck there. before you push her down the stairs? Oh, You want to protect your neck, Janeway. There's no some solid brass ball knackers. What the fuck are they doing? Do? She's gonna house on fire. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take an hour to try and get out of here. Yeah. Wait, wait. Don't escape yet. Just let the, the house from the gas. Oh. Yeah. The oh yeah. Gonna, it's oh. the, you know, the bell and the yeah. fucking massive, massive spark. Why is he like? Yeah, is he's he choking on gas. Wait, is he turning it off or turning it on? He's trying to turn it off. But you know, you oh, remember right. that bell with the fucking, um, oh, with the fucking yeah, Jacob's yeah. ladder on it? Oh, foreshadowing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chekhov's fucking, Chekhov's fucking massive spark. Bell. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, what's a bit of arson when it's your own home? I assume this is her someone house. Someone else's house. This is someone else's house. I like the way the gas oh, was actually well, going to the kitchen. It just didn't, like, didn't want to float in it. A bit like COVID. It was after 11 Wait, how did she know that, that the, the thing's going to be in there? How would she know that? She fixed what's the bell, a bit of she? arson when you're just having fun? She fixed the bell, didn't she? It was foreshadowing, like you said. <laughs> yeah, but the, the doorbell could have been somewhere else, right? Uh, no, it's that's why it's called kitchen. foreshadowing. No, because when she was in, she looked up and saw the bell. Oh, she did she? I missed that. Yeah. I, I must have blinked at that part. Oh, it's fucking released <laughs> over. That's right. Just stare into the flames. You just kill the man. That's it. One more thing. One more thing. Why did you kill him? <laughs> So, like, at no point was the um, police contacted. Bedwear said that was a goofy ending. It's goofy show. Oh, so, oh, look at that. Bit of leg. Look. Oh, what, just do some tap dancing. You know, I murdered a man, but it's okay. <laughs> that dance you do after you just murdered a man. <laughs> Celebrate with the dance afterwards, it's fine. What is... She was doing ballet, not tap, tap dancing. Right? Fucking... Yeah, but now they're doing tap dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Never did this in the did you? <laughs> Americans. Oh, it'd be fine. It's, yeah, who cares if it's happening? No one, no, no one ever know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that feel when you just killed a man. No PTSD just whatsoever since dance. Bed West. Tap dance on a still burning corpse. Now, are we gonna? Are we gonna do the second it, episode? Is, is this for like you know lighten the the ending of the, the program to like you know? Yeah. Is, it, is this uh, the brevity part to like make it not as? You know. If you want, to, if you want to do the second episode, knock yourselves out. But I've got to do some some washing up, so I'll be like five minutes or something. Okay. Hey, we never did get to see the creepy uh, ba uh, uh, lollipop man. What was that all about? Oh yeah, that was <laughs> <a> <laughs> it's a running thing. at least put the Mac in the, in the washing machine. <laughs> the fuck is she leaving? The 
<laughs> the poker line. Has she, has she got the taste for blood now, has she? Oh, this is my damn Columbo. Today, burn the evidence. <laughs> Bedrest says I like the doggo though, he's a good boy. Yeah, good boy. Oh, Kate Mulgrew Mul in the bed gagging for him. This is some French version of it, although they haven't dubbed it or anything. Donald Pleasant's of it. Henry Jones. Donald, Donald Pleasant's of its favourite actor. Defence for women. Okay. Fucking hell, they're going for the big guns, isn't it? As a young this constable at Scotland Yard, we were taught that we had 101 hours of arrest. It soon appeared that our criminal adversaries, however, had a thousand and one hours of resistance. I intend to share all of these with you, delightful Let me guess, Kate Wilbur is there. And to comfort you in the knowledge that each and you should every one of you in the eye. is a walking yeah. arsenal. <laughs> Night has fallen. An attacker attacks. You have nothing but an umbrella. How this has definitely got to be one of Donald Pleasant's oh, career lowlights. <laughs> a a sabre. Yes, that's it. Just, just learn jab. fencing with umbrellas. Did he? Did he get to the I John Cleese thing where he had four or five ex-wives where he had to pay Steady had to pay love. money to, so he had to do any any shit going? Now, Mrs. Uh, Miss Miss Steinhardt, your keys. Deadly keys, lethal keys. That guy would have been cancelled if he did that your today. Assailant's face, yeah, a slash, dead. a gash. Yeah. After which I advise you to beat a hasty retreat. Sexual harassment <laughs> right there. Now let's have a look at this little bag of tricks here. Oh, look, she's... Oh, yeah, it's down. <laughs> it is heavy, Mrs. Uh, uh, Columbo. It's very heavy. It is a weapon. It's a mace. Use it as such. <laughs> <laughs> a resounding slap across the villain's ear. Oh. I wonder if Donald Pleasant's ever been, been, mace, been in Columbo. Let me introduce you to the more contemporary mace. An evil-smelling... And blinding gas. <laughs> Pepper spray. In a pen. Nice <laughs> fucking mace well, pen. I'll tell you more about James this Bond. kind of mace when next we meet, but in the meantime... <laughs> Sped, Sped West says he'll start banging on about Michael I Myers soon enough. deeper into your arsenal? <laughs> <coughs> what have we here? Oh. <laughs> How embarrassing. A recently published book on the subject of murder. The joy of sex. <laughs> it was a joy of by sex. By Ian A. Morley, an obscure genius. <laughs> a detective chief inspector retired. I, I, I quite, I quite like fun, ladies funny, to buy a copy fun, of your local pleasant. bookstore under no circumstances visit the public library. <laughs> well, here's another weapon. A plastic card, stiff as steel and sharp as a knife. A slashing blow across the face should do very nicely indeed. <laughs> From this, I deduce, deduce, that Mrs. Columbo is either a burglar or a journalist. <laughs> a, bur a burglar, because it should do very nicely for popping locks. A journalist, because it appears to be a press card for, oh, for the weekly advertiser. Our neighborhood newspaper. If you roll it up, it makes a terrific weapon. <laughs> Very impressive. I'm just fucking yeah. going through women's women's. Oh, yeah, exactly. You, Mrs. Columbo, you are in my power. And then fucking what manhandling like that. Yeah. Jeez, like... Spray you with gas, Chief Inspector. I think you've just been maced. With a fountain pen, madam. <laughs> in that case, would you order a dirty bitch for all, me? all over with Donald Pleasant? Yeah. She's like a cheap rat. I know. I know. My fellow author. I bet, he, I bet he's banged Deadly. every single one in that room. <laughs> he, just, he does it to pick up, <laughs> pick up the lonely <laughs> shit. Yeah. Yeah. What, yeah, dude. What a Chad says instrumental with him. Yeah. <laughs> he's got his fucking Michael Myers hunting coat on. Yeah. Well, 
we need, like self defense for women classes. We're breaking them. We could have done that last time. That 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 dead couple would still have our house left then. Yes. My name is Molly. Chief Inspector, how good of you to visit me. Do come. She's in. got no evidence that. that I'm so pleased to my She's got no evidence that a previous <laughs> geezer murdered anyone. <laughs> so she just blown, blown, <laughs> She's blown up somebody's house who she, she, she shouldn't be in. And, <laughs> and killed a guy. And killed yeah, him she's back. got no evidence. <laughs> Can't exactly get a confession out of him because he's dead. Fires very well. <laughs> <You know. laughs> yes, it is. As I told you. I Is that Jack and immensely. Columbo had to pull in a few favours right. for that one? <laughs> Hi, honey, what have you done today? Well, I've just murdered a man by playing <laughs> the fucking kitchen. A compendium yeah. of seven true and perfect oh. murders. Oh. How was your day? Yeah. You might have called it <laughs> Seven Who Got Away With. I considered that title. Cheers. <laughs> and Mugwort says book. all the access to women who if don't I know how to defend to themselves, yeah. Material. <laughs> Is that Donald Pleasant? Yeah. Yeah. He must have been hard up for work. I was going to. I said to Fraser. I said, "Is it? Is he John Cleese thing where he's got four or five ex-wives to fucking pay alimony to?" Who was the victim? I believe he was some that really enjoyed working. You are. Oh. Oh. Indeed. <clears throat> Why do they always have the smallest guns? Oh no, it's him. Oh my. Who's that? It, Who's it's him? It's not that. That Carmichael. Is it really? Lily's Carmichael. You've been served. Poor Lily. Chapter sir. one. All those years ago. I was. Uh, we. We're all under the impression that you had drowned in the Thames the night the police came to arrest you for a murder you never committed. A murder you committed? Whatever gave you that idea? From your book of perfect murders. A common prostitute was rather cleverly murdered by a rising young politician when she threatened to expose their relationship. The police mistakenly assumed, because of your own relationship with Lily, that you had killed her. You shattered my life. I intend to shatter yours, Chief Stop Inspector. Such a puff, uh, my dear Man fellow, up. I wasn't even on the case. You just missed it, Abbott. He was teaching self defense to uh, vulnerable Lily's young women. Into my book if I were the murderer, no, it was all over, it was all 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 over Kate Mulgrew. Your argument is absurd, and I can prove that beyond a shadow of doubt if you'll kindly refrain from squeezing that trigger for 30 seconds whilst I. Uh, is it all right if I write on this? All your sufferings get... might have He's been... He's going to get the mace in. Oh, I hate it when they do that, don't you? Oh, fuck's sake. Oh, we killed oh, him. Wow, yeah. didn't expect that. I thought, I thought Don, Donald Pleasance was doing an in and out. Take the money and run. Yeah. If you play near lakes, I will kill you. <laughs> you only think it's six inches of water? I'll suck you in. Hey. You know a trope which you don't uh, hear about much these well, it's days? Well, it's going to be the, it didn't burn properly in the fire uh, trope, innit? Just one more thing. What the fuck is he doing? Why? You it's on the wall. The, oh, it's bigger. The lights, right, okay. the lights come with the picture frame. What the fuck? <laughs> That's ancient Tartarian technology, mate. Like, yeah. come on. <laughs> you don't have... Um... <laughs> That's because that was the one that got shot. That's why they've moved. Yeah. It. No, next to it, and he wants a bigger like frame to hide it, right? What were you doing? Know, Finish one fancy. job first. Come on. Hello. Uh, my name is Carmichael. 
I'm in the country club apartments. Can you Why would me? you ring? I don't want to live. I don't want to die. I, I'm afraid. I, I want to live. I want to die. Hello? <laughs> Hello, can you hear me? Oh, he's pretending it's Hello? a suicide. So the Hello? bloke fucking shot himself in the gut Hello? as a suicide. Hello? Yep. Yeah. That just makes it look even more suspicious. What, is Abraham Lincoln? <laughs> <laughs> I've John Wilkes boofed myself. I can't get over the fucking... What? The, the picture with the light stuff to it, shit. I really don't understand this. If I swap the picture frames over, it's the perfect crime. Oh, so he knew he was going to do a murder, but he's going to sit everywhere and leave evidence. Fucking hell, he's as bad as you for fucking throwing everything in the fire, Robert. That's what fires are for. Why has he put one shoe underneath and one shoe in the fire? Oh yeah, better take my hat with me. What's going on? Um, I don't know. Oh, he's left his pen behind. Oh my. Well, well shut, well called alphabet cat. Yeah, that's good. Check off the pen. You know what? The chief face inspector. is going to be all swollen yeah. in that from the mate. You are, you are the chief inspector. You just assign yourself to the case and pick it up later. How do I know where to take them? Wherever you take suicides, that's where you take them. All right, boys, all wrapped up. You can go eat now. How the fuck is Kate? I don't, how the fuck is Kate Mulberry going to get pulled into this one? Oh, she's going to recognise the pennant, she. Yep. Yeah, but he's in the room right now. Why is he not going to pick it up? Like... He can't find it. You know, if I was him... Oh, shit, I'd he's fucked uh... now. My chief inspector, morning. Oh, this is Columbo. <laughs> Isn't it? I was, uh, just... <laughs> They've all left. Apparently. Why is she Are you here? helping them, the police? Oh, no, I don't no, 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 fucking no, just know. the she knows knows I received a telephone call from this uh, Mr. Carmichael. Oh, his name wasn't really Carmichael. Excuse me? But, I mean, he just rented the apartment under the name of Carmichael, but his real name was Saunders. That's what his identification said. That's what Sergeant Boone said. Well, I'm afraid I wasn't acquainted with this uh, Carmichael Saunders or whatever his name was. <laughs> Do you not know he's noticed he's got a fucking I, uh, rubber shoe on? I understand the poor fellow shot himself. He said he had some valuable material for my new book, so oh, I yeah. uh, arranged to meet him here in his apartment. It isn't his apartment. Excuse me? Oh, it's fucking hell. Does he have to keep saying excuse me? I mean, time? he just rented it, but he never moved in. I'm terribly English, don't you know? I found this. <laughs> <laughs> there must be a mate to it somewhere. He burned it. Excuse me? In the fireplace. No. Oh, do you smell it? It's very strong. I asked Sergeant. Boone oh, that's to disguise the smell of mace. He was going to commit suicide would burn his rubber. Sergeant Boone said he didn't want to discuss it. But do you have a theory? Uh, no, I'm afraid not. Did you uh, know the deceased? Oh no, no, nothing like that. The call came in while I was at the police station for my uh, my newspaper. The weekly advertiser. No, oh, it's just part time. Mostly when my daughter's in school. Fascinating work. Mm. She knows the pictures. I write a lot about how the PTA is trying to raise money. <clears throat> I must admit I'm looking forward to a cup of tea. We don't get many murders. Murders? I mean, if it isn't suicide. Well, apart from the one you did Why last week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, you blew up that house. That. She don't count that one. That, that, she this keeps one, that in a happy place. There's something about it. 
Uh, hey, that was self-defense. Uh, oh, the shadow is cool. shadow, about. isn't it? No, all back of the <laughs> wall. It's darker area. Yeah. But well, don't you think that's interesting? Is it? Well, there must have been a bigger picture here. Like that one. And that one belongs somewhere else. Yes, you're possibly right. That's nicely deduced. Mrs. I, I still can't Would get over the fact that those, those pictures have I know lumps nice to you. Very English. Oh, I'd love to. But just look, Chief Inspector. When I tried handing yeah, this... Yeah, it seems a bit odd. Over there. Yanks, eh? Look what I found. Ah, uh, you don't want this picture frame. You want the picture frame with... Uh... Well, it is. Isn't it a bullet hole? It certainly appears to oh. be uh, a bullet hole. Oh, I'm so glad. Oh, you're doing a real a good job of fucking boat. covering this one up, my dickhead. How what a fucking bell end, isn't it? You are the Duke of New York. You are A number one. <laughs> No, I, I don't quite see it. Well, you see how the light's coming from this side? You see how the artist painted it that way? Yes, I do, Mrs. Kalafa. But he painted this shadow this way. Why would he paint the shadow like that? The painter you're referring to, Mrs. Columba, was Rembrandt. The painting, I believe, is called The Officer. Rembrandt painted The Officer over 300 years ago. The mystery is forever and irretrievably buried. Even for a sleuth with your own formidable power. Tea! Mrs. Columbo. I think you're making charming conversation. Well, fucking hell, she'll go to dinner really with anyone, wouldn't she, bullet. dirty bitch? I must admit, you've read my mind, Mrs. Columbo. Just consider this. Well, I was feeling a bit peckish, you know. In for all, opinion for this, a pound. All, this, all this time, she, he's, he's thinking, he's thinking she's on to him because of a murder. No, it's actually she wants some cops. What is it like? What will it feel like? What sound like? So. It's bed rest off to bed. I love how you watch your weight, Mrs. Columbo, with that tiny, tiny high tea you're having. The entire table festooned with pastries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just a light snack for some coffee and tea. So, yeah. He switched over the paintings. <laughs> there's, an obes there's an obesity epidemic in America. I wonder why. Oh, that's very <laughs> perceptive to how could this? How could this have happened? May I make a suggestion? I'm sure you will, Mrs. Columbus. Oh, what the fuck is that he's eating? No, is that, is that supposed to be a profit roll? Or maybe Carmichael. And then the other guy's off the gun. It's not profit. I guess the cake that he's eating. Murder. Is it a poor uh, pie with the table? It's time to a slideshow, so I I can't really see. Yeah. Is it a teapot? <laughs> I just can't figure out what he's, what he's eating. I just can't. The rubber. In a clair, right? It's an eclair. So it's too round to be an eclair. A perfect roller or an eclair? Yeah, I'll, I'll take your word for it. Yank, yanks can fuck up anything, can't like they? they? She is really fucking flirting with him. Look, what is it? It looks like a it looks like a pork pie with a... What? What is that? <laughs> that have to be one of those mysteries. It looks yeah. like a pork pie with a like tea the cake officer. on top, doesn't it? <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. Now hear what? Should I get the same Oh god, not the donut. fucking intercom that again. Jesus Christ. She not know the trouble we've caused oh, no. last time. I am writing about a lady Look, who got hey, Donald anyway, Pleasant. Pleasant. Last time we used on the this line. intercom, I had to murder a man. Can we play a game? I got a bad <sighs> Let's play a game. Uh, computer. Word game. Yes, no, or maybe. Stop all the downloading. A man slaps in this room. In his own house. And he can't get out. Why? Is he in the cellar? Because mummy no. blew him up in the kitchen. Is he? Yes. <laughs> yes. The man is very rich in the house. Can't get out of the house. Is he in pieces? <laughs> <laughs> He's it dead. Month, Did mummy kill him in the fire? <laughs> mummy, what does it feel like to kill a man? <laughs> I don't know. I've only ever blown up a house. <laughs> it's very sad. And he burns one of his rubbers in the fireplace. 
Why? Oh. Is anybody else in the room? I don't know. Yes, nor maybe. Maybe. Mm. It's freezing cold and he doesn't have anything else to make fire. <laughs> he wants to play a trick on somebody? Maybe. Uh, Mugwort says they do love to inflate the meal design in shows. In real life, we're all Mother fat because the food we have is poison. Wear them in the house. <laughs> I think Mugwort. <laughs> yeah, Mugwort there's that too. And what's the answer? Talking about. I don't know, honey. Well, I'm just wondering if, like, the set designers, whilst they have no concept of how technology works, they also don't understand that, like, you know, a meal for someone, <laughs> you know... Like, a, a meal might be like a bowl full of food. It's not an entire table filled with pastries. Just like, I like her daily shops. Her, her daily shops about four dozen eggs. Very good at games. Good night, you little blue-eyed wonder. Dumb game. I'll cook you a dozen eggs for breakfast. Now go to bed. <laughs> I mean, I would describe him as fat, but why is he not fucking moved when he's not even fat? Fashion. Donald Pleasance was uh, pleasantly plump. And one for Mrs. Columbo. Oh, God. <laughs> he's like, Stephen? she's never in the house. Come, come say hello. Nice. When the bit on the side meets your girlfriend. Oh, thank you, sir. You look so content. <laughs> when the wife meets the girlfriend. We've been getting along famously. I'm going to teach Mrs. Columbo how to make my lime marmalade, and she's going to teach me how to make a dumb sim. Dim sum. Oh, what? Chinese dumplings. What splendid news. <laughs> I've got better news than that, Chief Inspector. You are going to be delighted. Am I? There you are, dear. Did you know that Let me try looking a bit more guilty. Right, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no. I love how completely oblivious she is to this. <laughs> Consider, considering she's like before fingerprinting, like, what has he got to worry about? Uh, no, they had fingerprints back then. Well, no, why no, is there no one done fingerprints? That's what he's got to worry about. Please, Mrs. Well, it's not suspicious, it's oh, just no. a suicide. No, no, Saunders, okay. dear. Except they moved the pictures. I think somebody burned really to try and cover obvious. up a smell in the room. Uh, you can't be serious. That's what Sergeant Boone said. But then he examined the body again, and guess what he found? Mace? Ian, you'll never believe it. It's oh, not going to fucking kill you, you bitch. I love, I love the way he's acting all the emotions, but, beard. like, too obviously. And under the beard, traces of tear gas? <laughs> That must have been the smell, dear. Have some marmalade. Oh, that is really terrific marmalade. But the tear gas smell. Maybe that's what Mate, the murderer was trying to do. That's posh up. putting marmalade tear in a fucking bowl, isn't it? It's really all very confusing. Sergeant Booth. What the so fuck? How much fucking well, marmalade does he want? Saunders. Oh, did I tell you? He worked as a waiter at the Piccadilly Musical. A waiter at the Piccadilly? Uh, no. No, make it look like a bleeful blab out, Mr. Presence. At least five tablespoonfuls worth. Stop, stop, stop nervously putting stuff on the plate. You know. Fire the shot into the wall. Switch the paintings. Call the police. Does he like Now remember, we're Americans. This is how much marmalade we have. Oh my God, Jesus! Fucking hell! Then he sprayed himself in the face with tear gas and put on a false beard. Would you, would you like some like cracker with your marmalade? <laughs> what the fuck? Very bizarre. What is on there you already? Is that supposed to be butter? Please, Chief Inspector, it'll make such a terrific yep. story for the weekly. Well, oh, fucking hell! Really? I think I think you can tell you can tell Donald Pleasance has never done light entertainment because he's hamming this fucker right up, isn't he? Saunders, dear. <laughs> okay. Sour trout juice. Three hundred words on sour trout juice. Well, it's not the juice. It's the lady's ninety-five. I didn't burn him. Mrs. Columbo. <laughs> Everybody he in the ninety has a recipe for longevity. Back in the Memphis. He wanted to see my points. The trick was two banana peels. Slice the sour trout lady in half, and I'll take two hundred words. Are you local? Fire plugs. Yes, Mr. Roth. 
I like the way you don't go like, how did you get on the other night when, when that don't murderer was trying to everything. kill you, but you never yeah. got back to me? I bought a yeah. neighborhood newspaper we give away for nothing. Does that sound like a guy that thinks? Well, I had to kill a man, obviously. Any more questions? What's you so think this show that? inspired Mariana Springs as Alpha Big Cat? Sergeant Blue Circus found the only person who Carmichael's beard. His owner's name is Saunders. Do you think Mariana Springs could kill a man in a kitchen with gas? There are two kinds of tear gas. There's OS. Well, Fucking hell, has it been verified? Don't me with that fucking yeah. Stanley knife. Don't put that in your story. There's a newspaper, not an information. He's not paying nearly enough attention. And he's doing what he should but never do. He's, but he's, bringing a, he's drawing a knife towards him. Very poor Stanley knife safety there. Excuse me. Uh, is this, uh, was this uh, Mr. Saunders' apartment? That's right. My name is uh, Morley, Ian Morley. Chief Inspector? Retired. Oh, my God. Is this, welcome, is this guy sir. pretending to be any more dumb? You come right in. <laughs> I'm Sergeant Paul. Yeah. And Mrs. Colombo. She's told me a lot about you, sir. I must admit she's spoken about you many times. She asked me if uh, I, I would take a personal interest in this case. I, I hope you don't mind. It would be an honor, sir. We can start with these. Galoshes. These are Mr. Saunders' rubbers. Rubbers. I'd say they were about the same size as the one that got burned. Would you say that? Mm, roughly. Gotta ask, she's well, up the geezer from uh, Danger Mouse, from out the, the 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 mole guy before he gets cartooned in Where's Roger Rabbit? The that's new a, frame, that's Roger Rabbit. Were, pleasant, uh, mate. Important? Would it be a coincidence? You better not play near that lake, or I'll come I'm kill you. Are, are we alive? Yeah, you missed, yes. you missed don't some cracking stuff. You, see, you missed some cracking Six stuff so far. Kate Mulgrew killed a man. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have to. I'll, I'll tell you when we're oh, when we're right. off the air because some yeah, kind of a uh, bit fucking wooey happened. Ooh. Oh, shall we look oh, further, shit. Sergeant? I'll tell you the shit, truth. Son. I've got a tough job here. In my report, I called it suicide. All that this, stuff about you can tell Donald Pleasance has, hasn't done TV before because he's just like he's acting it's as if he's in a film. A and he's like way over egging it. We'll do our very best, Sergeant. So why is he actually? Is it does? Oh, bit Fraser. Do you even know what he's looking for? Something wrong? Oh no! I I, I don't know. Like I said, the the, the, the storytelling in this is not very um, engaging. No. I'm, I'm going to step in here and I'm going to stay looking for his acting skills because I've only been here five minutes and I can see he's lacking them. He's misplaced them somewhere. He's not. He's fucking. You, you know, I have a whinge about casting direction and stuff. Like, I, think the director I, I don't know who did the casting Ming, for really? Escape from New well, York, but I like that Donald Pleasance was President of the United States. <laughs> Hello, I'm the President of the United States, I am. <laughs> he couldn't but be anyway, just slipped born in England. Up, sir. Have I? Mrs. Colombo. She said oh, he's got a smile that scare children. <laughs> when he called Why is his name, Ple yes, name Pleasance when he does so many horror films? No, he must have bought a copy after all. Because he does them in a pleasant fashion. Ah, how stupid of He's a murderer. Stuff. You've got to kill him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> After this, like, I, I know it's normally this would have a commercial story. break somewhere in it. Can we do a commercial break to show the don't play near that lake? <laughs> we'll do it at the end. I'll stick it on at the end. Okay. That is, if he can't find something better. <laughs> oh, well, now, let's get on with our show. At practically no expense and very little trouble, we bring you the great Malini. Is there a fucking nest of, is there a nest of English people around this one? Is that, I can't believe it's not a Cockney accent, yeah. Mark, through in a blender. Hello, that, Dick Van Dyke here. Is that Grandpa from the Monsters? The first thing every magician does is it looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. And attractive assistant. I can't afford one. So, 
Oh my god. Whatever it is, I shall come down here amongst you. A, they're breeding. <laughs> they're breeding in America. There's a nest, there's a nest of well. Anglos in somewhere in America. Good evening, madam. I found is this the episode of Sliders where the United States Sliders. never became independent? <laughs> well, it brings wasp pest control to a new uh, new art. Can just imagine oh God, a, a bloke in a mask chasing around Anglo. to pick out fucking Kate Mulgrew. <laughs> English. I guess Griff... English, um, the, uh, the, the, the opinion is Kate Mulgrew is cute when she was younger. She's actually pretty hot, to be honest. Yeah. Well, well, no, I didn't agree with this. I said that she got you know, to puberty and immediately became 40. <laughs> and she's been 40 <laughs> for the past 60 years. That's not saying she's not cute. That's not too bad, to be honest. I'd take that. I don't know. I've seen one steam for in so far. And I reckon if she dropped the chin on you, you won't wake up for a while. <laughs> <laughs> a, a masculine chin is not necessarily what I look for in a bird. I just like how she danced she on the grave her of her enemies. Dave, yeah. <laughs> she's been mewing, lad. She's been, she's been look in and getting that nice jawline. Yeah. Oh, she's got Chad and stuff. That's a good luck, isn't it? Like, what's the fucking point if you just open it with a knife? <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, the trick you've all been waiting for. The one advertised on the placards. What is the secret number? The secret number is... Seven. What? Is Columbo home? Is he looking what? after the kid or has just left the kid at home on her own? And brought, and brought the magic funny. indicator into her. Very, very funny. Uh, she, she's fine. She's just doing, <laughs> doing ballet or something. She's a strong, independent <laughs> woman, Hemet. She doesn't let children get in her way. Yeah. No. Don't spoil her. I thought Kate Mulgrew in real life, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit brutal. Oof. <laughs> but true. <laughs> you only get the one up. <laughs> At least he gave it Chief up Inspector. and didn't abort it. Hello, Chief Inspector. Uh, more good news, Ooh. Chief Inspector. Interventional Lizard said, is that, that supposed to be Tommy oh, Cooper, okay. that fat, that fat gate? I Look think they I might be, he might be trying to be Mr. Tommy Carmichael's Cooper. Mr. Carmichael's locker. Just like that. Kill, how old she meant to be in this lot? The late 30s? She says, this is what Hobbit said. She just... Yeah, she so just turned, turned straight 40 when she hit puberty and stayed that way. Excuse me. One of the chapters is missing. Cut right out the part about the murder of Lily Corday and the man they accused of killing him. No, I don't know what phrase has been smoking. I still will not touch that. There you go, Chief Inspector. He's miles ahead of me again. <laughs> as long as she didn't start repeating the fucking holodeck episodes, you're all right, right? Ta-da! That's an eight oh, no, no, in Scotland. <laughs> ah, another light like repast. What the that, fuck Yeah, in Scotland, that? that's a ten. What are you on about? What the fuck is that that she just Every, Everybody knows our, our Lacey's a solid fucking eight, mate. If, if she's a ten. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That it wasn't really a politician. He said it was someone else, and he's still alive. That is really beside the point, dear. But I think the point is that your Mr. Carmichael was drowned. Only he wasn't. He wasn't? If you look here, Chief Inspector, in our Mr. Carmichael's book, in the table of contents, you see that? The murder of Lily Corday. I am the murderer. I am the murderer. Mm, that's remarkable. Mm, isn't it, dear? Carmichael wrote that. The same Carmichael who was supposed to be drowned, but he was living right here in Los Angeles, and now we know who killed him. Living with the guilt all these years, he read your book, and he called you to confess. To, uh, to confess? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> to confess, of course. And then <laughs> he's oh, way fucking it. He's having wrong. this fucker up, Knowing isn't he? his own life was over. The poor man committed suicide. It's all right. He knows no <laughs> one's going to watch this, so he can just have it up as much as he right like. Carmichael shot himself. This is literally what they call it. This is a masterclass in fucking chewing scenery. On this beard. one, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, ah, oh, no fucker's gonna watch this. I'm just gonna turn up to set drunk. 
<laughs> I'm going to Ollie read it. Fuck it. <laughs> Just one more thing. Uh. Have you noticed that the, 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 I love you, the, Kate the constant Bolgrove. phone calls to Columbo was, uh, have stopped, have it? Uh, she's got a foot fetish. She's <laughs> nicking shoes now. <laughs> Doing a PPP, she's going to sniff them later. She can get her old man to wear them. <laughs> she ain't, because he's never home. Yeah. That was the gag in the, in the first one. She kept ringing up Columbo and going, when are you coming home? And he's like, uh, no. I've sped West put it like, uh, Columbo sleeps in the car so he can avoid her. <laughs> Hey, did you see the bit when he swapped the pictures, English? Those pictures have the fucking lamp no, stuck I'd... to them. Ah. The lamp stuck to the, the lamp stuck to the picture, and you plug it in the back of the in behind the painting. It's fucking weird. Yeah, you got picture frames with lamps built into them. Why not? <laughs> the lamps made of foreskin. <laughs> <laughs> They're made out of plot devices. <laughs> made out of plot devices. Like the doorbell. Like the doorbells with the, the doorbell taser. Oh, Pavlov's doorbell. <laughs> Chekhov's doorbell, isn't it? Oh, sorry. Get Pavlov and Chekhov mixed up. Yeah, it's Chekhov's doorbell, weren't it? That's it. Well, Chekhov's gun. Oh, is he looking for? He's looking for the pen now, but I don't know what he was looking for in the locker. Still looking for his dignity. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm sure I'll drop more fucking it plastic around here somewhere. Fucking hell, she's she's like she's fucking haunting him, isn't she? She's like flies round shit. You can't get rid of her. I dare say. He's like, all he's got to do is fuck her, and then then she'll be done. But he won't do it, will he? So she's there. So she's there all the time. Turn up this delightful little cry. Oh, in my spare time. She's got to ladle some marmalade on her, like he did that slice of bread. It's about Carmichael. Saunders. Carmichael was his real name. He what are you watching? Ah, Mrs. Oh, the best TV series ever. Watching, um, like, it is uh, Kate Mulgrew's magnum opus. An English politician. <laughs> out here. <laughs> 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 Can't see Kate what you're watching. Oh, it's, it's, it's a link. Uh, yeah, it's a link. Yeah, it's a link. Yeah, yeah it's watched together. Uh, just a second. His revenge. Then revealing himself. You were ahead of me again, Chief. Then the visitor turned the table. That's where the mace came in. Carmichael's gun went off. The bullet hole in the wall. Then he shot Carmichael. Switched the paintings to hide the hole. Put back the beard to hide the mace. Burned the rubber to kill the smell. Oh. Your wife said... This was your rubber, Chief Inspector. You fucking crafty bitch. Well, one of she didn't say that at all. Another. Tell me more about your murder. She's sucking on his fucking foot. Uh, on his fucking shoe. Give it, give it away. A bit of a shit, my. Dirty bitch. Well, now your little fantasy is getting confusing, Mrs. Colombo. Carmichael did away with Lily. It's all there. Don't, don't you remember the confession? I am the murderer. Oh, yes. But then there's these, Chief Inspector. Fucking hell, glorious look. I got them at the library. Are the coppers even trying? Copies of English newspaper stories. About you, Chief Inspector. See that? Inspector IAM Nabs Gallery, Chief. IAM Stocks Mayfair Strangler. IAM does it again. You were a very famous man. Inspector Ian A. Morley. Oh. I am. 
the killer. Fucking hell. Oh, it doesn't say I am the murderer. It says I A M murderer. Open to interpretation, wouldn't you say? Oh, yes. Absolutely open. No proof at all. But then there's this. Article, huh? Does, is there even a police force in fucking San Francisco? I think you're going to be very proud. <laughs> um, they're, they're busy doing other things. <laughs> busy dancing see, at Pride Pride. Prides. It's the very same picture. They, they don't have time to investigate such trivial matters like murders <laughs> and arson. <laughs> they have more more pressing issues in the bathhouses of uh, Castro See to investigate. That there? Yeah. Uh, perhaps it's a flaw in the reproduction. Did but you know there's no canals in San Francisco? But then I thought about something. It, is that stop? Is that stop Toppy going? Something there? the uh, murderer. He's not interested in visiting for that reason. <laughs> oh shit! That's where it was. Fell out of his pocket. Ah, is oh, she going to do a Cinderella you know, now? His, where she's going to line you know, up you know people with his coat over the um, thing. That's when it fell out. Jembry put oh, the painting yeah. upside down. Did you see? Did you notice that? Yeah. No, no, I, I, I didn't know why they were moving the paintings, but they've made it obvious. Well, it was so he could drop his mace pen in there. Oh That's fuck why he moved, me! Move the painting so he could. Drop why would his you have that? In there, which he could solve. Yeah, why would you keep that on you? Why? Why are you retarded? You killed. Uh, <laughs> to you make retarded? her job easier. And you killed Billy Corday. And now, why are you so stupid confronting him like this with no backup? Columbo, don't he could kill you. <laughs> It's a cry for it's a cry for help from her for a hus for a husband. I think you're a very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Two murders. One all those years ago, ill conceived. The oh other, god. A few days Are you ago. literally gonna do that? Oh, I'm gonna yes. tell you the whole thing now. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> I'm gonna lie out my evil plan. Yet another night. Here's my evil plan, yeah. I would have got away from it, like, uh, bloody housewives. Mm, fucking... No, I expect you to die, Mrs. Columbo. <laughs> I'd have, I'd have done, done it too. Don't stop now, stabs off. <laughs> okay, what what now? Like you... You're a remarkable woman. Mrs. Where's the Columbo? burn? Where's the trademark I mean, burn? I'm supposed to know it's Janeway if she, if she ain't got a burn. Good. Has she gone native in the holodeck? Is this what's happened? Conveyed all this information to the police. Like the doctors, like, oh, oh we need Robert Picardo to get in there. And it's like, uh, Captain, you need to come to your senses. <laughs> Edson Kim has been demanding a promotion for the past three months. <laughs> and Edson Kim's trying to cook up whatever we caught off that planet the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Even Neelix has got advanced dysentery from it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wait, like Neelix. Is that it? Is that it? Oh, he's like, yeah, oh, got me back to rights. I murdered him. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, you anyway. got me. I'm the Dundee the murderer, mate. Right. So oh, can, can we have Donald, Donald Pleasance in the me. lake? If you come to the lake today, I will kill you. I'm Donald Pleasance. <laughs> uh, oh. So you want to watch the lake? Thought you were going to have a nice dip in the lake. Think again. Oh, oh fucking hell. Um, what have I got to do? Does it look nice and inviting? No, it doesn't. Remember, <laughs> I will come and I will kill you. Stay safe, children. Uh, should we play out with lo uh, Lonely Water, is it? That's probably the one, yeah. Yeah. Right, so if I do that. This this is a PSA for all you folks out here. Don't play in the water. Uh, yes. 
Donald Pleasance doesn't mind merging a few more people before Kate Mulgrew arrests him. I don't change screen share. Kate Mulgrew wants to touch your bum, mate. Ain't gonna arrest you. She wants to sniff your shoes. <laughs> she, she can turn to a salamander and she wants to lay her eggs somewhere. <laughs> hey, what happens on Salamander Planet it stays on Salamander Planet. Oh, no. Oh, was that an episode where they got turned into yeah. salamanders? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that one. You just brought it back. What? I just uh, want to make sweet salamander love to you. Yeah. When, when, when she went just to Paris and gives him the cheeky wink at the end. <laughs> oh, no. God. In some Paris. Whis- 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 whispers. Whispers. You, I won't tell them that I'm the salamander who had the dick, Paris. Gives him a cheeky <laughs> wink. I won't tell them you're Mrs. Salamander. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, right, Lonely Water share. That's the one. Hold on, I've got to change this to... Oh, man, it's so bad. No, especially as the, as the weather's getting warmer, some of you may be thinking, oh, I could do with a nice dip in the river. Did you watch the end of Voyager then, English? Have you finished it yet? You, you started the, like, cleansing process um, yet? I'm still, I'm still on the, I can't <laughs> believe it's not Island Holodeck episode. <laughs> you got to stop oh. I had, um, I had shit do. I've, I've had to do that assignment, then I? I had to yeah. write about how uh, colonial Africa and how all the provinces were absolute dog shit. And anyone out there tells you that Africa was this boon of resources, and they're fucking <laughs> lying to you. Right, let's 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 let's, let's watch watch uh, a, a bit of classic Donald Pleasance, uh, just to watch the taste of that Donald Pleasance out of our mouth. Yes. I am the spirit of dark and oh, you take Donald winter. Pleasance out your mouth. Ready to trap the unwary, the show off, the fools. And this is the kind of place you'd expect to find me. That's really quiet. But no one expects to find me here. It seems to all frozen. No one expects no one expects these vanishing positions. The boy is showing off. The bank is slippery. Got you. The show offs are easy. <laughs> but the unwary ones are easier still. This branch. How gay you gotta be to drown in that. Rotten. It'll never take his way. Only a fool. Nice PSA you got there would be a shame if the video played. Every minute. Is it not playing? <laughs> the, water, there are traps. the audio's playing. We'll have to take that. Oh, that's the wrong from the window. Yeah, that... Isn't Why is that not play? fucking playing? It's not playing for an accident. It's playing for me, but nobody else. It's just been okay. Nope, I can't. It's, it's just the image. I have no power over them. It's not even playing for the audience neither. I don't know why it's just been. No. Oh, it's well. too harrowing to show the audience. Yeah. yeah. We don't want you to have nightmares. Don't have nightmares, kids. That's it. There you go. Oh, it's the football yep. electricity one. That's fucking... Oh, I love that one. That's great, that is. Yeah, do you remember the PSAs we used to get? Right, are we all done? You don't want to do another one? I'd say we're done. Yeah, right. Go away yeah. now?